if you have to pay for it, you're taking money out of your profit, right? And you don't get to take that home and spend it because you have to pay somebody that money, right? That's why we're subtracting because we have to pay them the money. Okay, so the total gross profit was what? We'll just take it from right here. What was it? $50. $50. And they tell us what the operating cost was. What, how much was the operating cost? $25. $25. Because we pay this operating cost, we pay this, so it means we need to subtract. So we to subtract 50 minus what? 25. So now what's our total profit? What's 50 minus 25? $25. $25. That went down pretty quick, huh? Yeah. Okay. Our last step. Okay, now before we found how much it cost us to buy one unit, now we're going to find out how much it cost us to sell one unit, or how much we make off of one unit. Okay, so again, this last step starts with our units sold. How many units did Company A sell? 25. Okay, so again, it's 25. <coughs> and then, what was the total profit? Okay. And the last step we're finding out is the profit per unit. So if it's per unit, it means for all of them together or for one of them? One. So how do we find something for just one? Well, we divide it, right? So we're going to divide, this is the profit per unit. So do we want the answer to be money, or do we want the answer to be a number? If we want it to be profit, are we talking about money or a number? Money. Money, okay. So in our desk, in our long division problem, actually let me do it up here so that you guys over here can see. Aaron, can you see well enough? If not, why don't you slide your desk, buddy? Okay, in our long division problem, what number's going to go under the house? 25 what? Dollars. Dollars. $25 divided by? 25 units. And what's 25 divided by 25? One. So how much money did they make on one item? One dollar. So that's the profit? Not for the whole sale. That's the profit that you make from this selling day for selling one item. Oh, okay. So if you sell 25 of them, you'll make $25, okay? So the question is, one, uh, it costs you $2 to purchase them, right? The profit you make off of them is only $1 each, okay? After you subtract all the things you need to subtract, all right? So this is all company A. All right, ready, Company B. Now, this is work for you guys, okay? Because Company B doesn't have anything filled in except uh, how many things they sold and how much they sold it for. So back to page 43. Company B, can you guys just keep an eye on them doing this work? Okay. Um, company B, how many things did they sell? 30. 30. We're reading Company B. So 30, and how much did they sell them for? How much? Ten dollars each. Yep. Okay. So how do we find the total revenue? Nazir. Multiply what? Thirty and ten. Thirty times ten dollars. And what does that equal? Um. Mm, cool. Say it again. Very good, three hundred dollars. That's a lot of money, huh? Okay. Now, Company B, how many units did they sell? Thirty. Thirty. Thirty or sold. How much did it cost them to purchase it? Five dollars. What are you noticing about what they do with their money? How much they purchase it for? $2 to 4 or 5 to 10. What do they do? They double it. They 
doubled it. Kiara's right. They doubled it. And you're going to learn very soon, and there's a term for that. It's called keystoning. And that you definitely want to make sure that you at least keystone your items. That whatever you purchase it for, you at least charge double. Otherwise, you won't make money. Okay? And even still, after operating costs, you might not make money. So that's why you, that's why you do this to figure out if you're actually going to make profit on each on each item. Yes, Kara. So if we if, uh, if we don't um, have to borrow and rent it out, mm -hmm. and if we use our own table, we don't have to like rent. That's possible. However, you will have operating costs this time because you have to advertise your business somehow. You're going to have a name for your business, right? And don't you want to put a name out in front of your table? So unless you have all these supplies at home or someone donates it to you, you'll have to pay at least a couple dollars to go get post order markers, right, to make it. So if you have it at home, you might not have to pay for it. Or if someone donates it to you, then someone's giving to your, donating to your uh, business and then you don't have to pay for it. So you're right, your, your profit per unit will be higher. But if you have these expenses, your profit per unit will go lower, right? Okay. So yes, you're very right. Okay, so now how do we find out the, to the total cost of goods sold for business two? Business B. Do a multiply. Multiply what? Thirty five dollars. And five dollars. Okay, how many how many things that were sold times five 